get it? It's old. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we got the old music today because we got the old SketchUp modeling prompt today. Tyson's going to be modeling, bringing you all the tips and tricks, all the crazy SketchUp moves. It's going to be a fun one today and a great one. So ready to kick off the weekend and get your SketchUp in right under the wire. Here we go. It's SketchUp Live. It's Tyson. And let's get it going. <laughs> I don't know about you. I um, that music combined with your. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I I don't yeah. know. It's a mix of the old and the new. You know, it's the new school. It's the old school. It's meeting together. <laughs> we had growing up. I grew up near Tucson, Arizona, and um, there's a place down there called Gaslight Theater and it's one of these places that puts on live plays and they have somebody who's like just a super ragtime piano and mm -hmm. and we would go there sometimes and that's what it makes me think of I'm just laughing because I'm picturing that guy you know and he's dressed in clothes that are old and they've got like the thing on their their sleeve and just playing in a little derby hat or whatever. Doo, 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 doo. And I'm just picturing somebody like sitting on that piano, honking, throwing that horn on him. Blah, blah. Just, <laughs> yeah, behind know. like a DJ booth. Yeah. yeah. It's like. <laughs> yeah, it's just the most obnoxious thing. <laughs> All okay. right, we'll have to make a sketch of that or something. Maybe at base camp we can try to figure out some, some mashup of yeah. the entertainer with. Uh, Modern day DJ, Man. air horn. <laughs> I just, I hope that's one of those places. I hope it survived the pandemic. I don't have no idea how they fared. Okay, yeah, prompt is old. Um, I'm gonna pull in an image, Matt. Tell us how you've been. We've been we've been gone for a couple of weeks. Yeah, we have been uh, have been out. Schedules didn't align, unfortunately, but we're happy to be back. And. Uh, yeah, it looks like I was going to kind of tease, oh, is it going to be ancient stuff? Is it going to be oh, oh. prehistoric? What are, how old are we going here? But uh, I like it right up front. I got the, the old tools. <laughs> um, so, of course, we've seen the old tool restorations. We've seen the, you know, kind of the nice some nice old rusty textures on some of these here. So um, I like it. Going to get down and dirty with some some hand tools looks like huh that's the idea now we we started this these prompts in march with the idea of robots and it was going to be an old robot um shout out to uh, if, uh we were talking about the the book and now a show tales from the loop that guy has just some incredible cool robot designs kind of very industrial very I was going to do something along the lines of that, but then we got out of that. And then we had thought about the idea of sort of just exploring a session where we just tried to do materials because old to me invokes like this idea of, of like you say, rusty and creating materials in a really unique way. So um, mm -hmm. Eric and I spent a bit of time exploring substance painter and exploring some workflows to try and take SketchUp models to that and come back. And the, the process is brutally uh, painful. And, and I never got it really to do what I wanted. So that's partially just, I didn't get it to work the way I wanted to. And partially that it really is. I think people who use SketchUp know that SketchUp UV mapping is not that great. So we, this is where we, this is my comeback. Yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. Stick to your strength and uh, do what you know. Do what you do best. So Yeah. So in the time we have, we'll just uh, – these are – I set this up. This is a group of my tools. I just pulled out some that had some, you know, nice old patina on them. And we'll just model a series of these till we run out of time. And we'll apply some old materials and uh, see where we get to. So if, it, if out there, for one – please tell us where you're coming in from. Like I say, we've been gone for a couple weeks, but we hope to see some familiar faces and we hope to see some new faces. Tell us where you're yeah. joining us from. Matt will shout you out. 
Um, I'm going to start with a few easy uh, of these, but if, um, if there's really interest uh, out there in doing any one of these or, or something, holler, I assume. They'll be kind of like, this is one of the fun ones, this old pipe wrench and some of the others. So let's see where we get to. Nice. So, oh, so you have the picture, but you also have some uh, some right there on your desk, too, so you can I do. Up close. Yeah, these, these are mine. This is just on my bench. And so mm -hmm. I, I grabbed a bunch. So a few of these we can, we can model them. Mostly we'll just be eyeballing it and getting something close. By the way, I like it. Um, over, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> over time, a few people have asked because I use a Wacom tablet sometimes. I may switch back and forth, and because my keyboard shortcuts are so convolutedly <laughs> different than the default ones. But we have been asked to to have a keyboard um, show up on screen. So up here, I do have that. If that bugs y'all, just holler. We can get rid of it if we don't want it, or we can leave it. Looks good to me. I like to see all the the weird, crazy, I'm like that's not what I'm used to. It's no. freaking me out. And the, the, these uh, ZXV, you'll see a lot just because they're my navigation, my zoom, pan, and orbit. So the, I, I this is a little scale figure. I made these much larger so we don't have to worry about drawing it as something small. We can scale them later. I like to start something like this by drawing a simple line. I, because this was brought in, um, it's difficult to group it right away as a single object. So I will often draw just a single line, select both of those, if I hold up two hands into it, that's like both of those. <laughs> yeah. Into it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and group them. And I group these. I don't like exploding this image because if I turn on x ray mode, and in fact, let me make a copy just to show this. If I ungroup this, if I had taken this image, I like to lock it. That's partially why I group it. See over here, this is group, so I can lock it. But if I take this, sometimes uh, it's the nature to bring something in and explode it. As soon as I explode this, and then group it again. Oh, I'm going to prove myself wrong. Oh, good. In, in times past, depending on how you set this up, if you turn transparency mode on, it doesn't display the texture. This is doing it, so it's kind of going against what I was saying, but this is fine. So, grouped, locked. Yeah, it works. Let's start with something easy. Let's start with this, this nice old crescent wrench. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice one to start with. Um, and as you get going on that, I'm going to say hello to some people in the chat here we go we got um where are you coming in from we got lenny coming in from wisconsin hey we got keggy from devon uk hey we got uh lawrence is here hi andy's here hello. um paul is here hello good to see you simon hi uh, I'm scrolling down here. We got Ralph from Virginia. Hey, hello. We got um, Brian. Hey, hey. Hey. Um, Colin. Hello, hello. Jeff, new to SketchUp from Cleveland. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hey. Oh, nice. Uh, Studio RT, cool. Hey. Nice to have all y'all in here. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Uh, we had a question about what uh, is the keylogger? Uh, what's the name of the program? Do you know? Or is it just like a script? Or no, it, it was um, no. I found it on the Mac Store today. What was it called? I think it's called Key Something Pro Keystroke Pro. It's this oh. one. Nice, um, Ooh, spinny. Yeah. 
I, it's, uh, I liked it. It's, um, it worked really good out of the box. The placement sometimes, I don't actually model my SketchUp window isn't the full screen, so I'm capturing just part of it. And as such, I put it up here because it only wants to work on the outside edge of my screen. Oh, um, interesting. Okay. But yeah, it seems to be a, a nice one. It's a paid one. It was like 14 bucks. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Big bucks. Big That's bling, you. baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got that SketchUp money. So, oh, dude. Oh, Keep on yeah, here, no right. problem. <laughs> Rolling in it, though. But uh, no, that's cool. Uh, <clears throat> Patrick from UK, GRE. Hello, hola. Welcome, welcome. Thanks all for coming. Yeah, I feel like it's. Uh, I've been missing SketchUp Live because it's been a couple weeks since we've uh, since we've been on here. So I'm happy to be back, see some familiar faces again. Yeah. Hope y'all been well. I apologize if I cough a little bit. Um, Drink a lot of my big Santa mug, but yeah. Yeah, stay hydrated. Week. Get the uh, the vocal cords nice and. You now, isn't tea supposed to be good for vocal cords? That's what I hear. I was, so I'm uh, I'm rocking can... peppermint today. Ooh, nice. That's a good one. I'm bringing. <coughs> oh gosh, now I'm choking on my tea over here. Oh no. <coughs> I need some peppermint tea to make up for that. Um, no, I was gonna say you got the got the healthy going, the peppermint tea. Say it's good for a lot of stuff. I don't know. I think we've mentioned this before. I just it cracks me up every time. I love the show Ted Lasso, but running joke on there is that being from the U.S., he goes over there and he just can't drink um, just regular like black tea or or yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and, and that's kind of I, I feel the same way I'm like oh, I'm not very good at that I like chai tea yeah I like a black tea but I can see how it's like kind of an acquired taste at first it's just like well it's like coffee like the first time you have it it's like this is just hot water with like you know, <laughs> beans run through it um, but you get used to it and you learn to love it of course you learn um, to love it Keggy's asking, how are you doing following your illness? But I think on the forum you said you were feeling under the weather. <laughs> thanks, Keggy. Uh, doing very well, thanks. I had my turn. We all get our turn, I hear. Uh, I finally had mine. I had the COVID. And it was, as things go, a very light bout. So I'm very fortunate and thankful about that. For, nice. Yeah. Well, that's, you had it, Matt? Uh, you had your turn? I've not had COVID, no. But uh, it's definitely, you know, it's making the rounds. It comes for us all. Yeah. Uh, so, stay away so far. But, but yeah, no. Good for you. I'm glad it was uh, not too bad of a, of a version of it or whatever. Not too bad of an experience. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's tough out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Um, something like this. Good looking outline here. So you're going for the tracing the 2D. And then we'll bring it up. Yeah, and then I think we'll add a little, little bit more extra detail. We'll add some... Uh, We'll add some some detail, a little bit of texture. Won't be anything crazy today, but just nice to be back with y'all. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You know, you gotta have the right tool for the job, so uh, add them out all the the right tools, <laughs> of course. Lawrence says the interface of the circle consists of twelve indentations. What do you think about that? What? Wait, I don't understand. I mean, yeah. Are you talking oh, about oh. the thing on the end? Is that? Yes. 
we'll, good call. We'll get to that. And uh, luckily, since our default is 24, circle, uh, since the circle is 24, that'll be easy for us to do. So we'll get to that in a second. Good call. Oh, so it's going to be real, baby. It's going to oh, be yeah. usable. Not just going to be uh, something you, you know, put to your belt, keychain or something. Might be. This one I'm fudging a little bit, but we'll make it work. Let's see. Pull that in a bit. Hey, Blue Blanky coming in from Texas. Thanks for watching. Um, says, does the image texture show up while inside another group? I'm not sure I understand what you what you mean. After we, yeah. it, you'll have to clarify after we've applied it to this, or because when I opened, I talked about how you know sometimes you can apply it to another group. Maybe this is what he's referring to. We we talked about at the beginning, and I I think this will be true. I my first claim was wrong. But let's say we build... Exploding an image container and then... Yeah. Let's say we build a group. We explode this so it's a texture. And then... Oops. We'll see. That's weird. And then we will sample it and paint it. And... See how as soon as we're editing this group, this texture goes away? That's, that's okay, kind of yeah. what I was getting at. Right. Is, and the reason that's a problem is like when we're over here, once I gra grab this wrench and I group it and I work on it. Okay, that's, sorry. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was trying to say and I botched it earlier. When you're working inside a group, if you have exploded a texture or applied a texture, that stuff goes away. So that's why I like the setup where I don't explode it and to group it, I just add another little line or piece of geometry, or you could draw a rectangle around it, something like that. So if that's what you're asking, and thanks for asking it, because we got to clarify <laughs> what, that, what that was all about from the, anyway. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm glad we added it out. But yeah, no, that's a good tip. So leave it in the original kind of image container that it comes in and just... Yeah. That's what your geometry is. If you want it as a reference. Now, we are going to explode this to use these textures, but we'll make a copy and do that so that we can maintain. So, yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, this wrench. Really basic. Uh, Bill says fudge is nice with tea. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Fudge is probably nice with anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dipping, dipping some fudge. Just give me some. Uh, I'm from Michigan, so I got the Mackinac Island fudge over here. Very popular fudge. What's that? We're not all from uh, Michigan. Well, it's from Mackinac Island, which, if you're not familiar, Mackinac Island is like between Upper and Lower Peninsula, like in, it's in Lake Huron, but it's, uh, they don't allow any cars there. So you, have to, you take a ferry there, and then there's like you know horse-drawn carriages and bicycles and walking paths and stuff. And there's only it's like a tourist thing. There's only a couple places you can stay and restaurants and stuff, but it's a little vacation spot. But they're also known for their fudge, very good fudge. Um, so yeah, Akron Island fudge, gotta have it. All right. Um. Daniel from India. Hello. Hello. Oh. Welcome and wow. It's uh Yeah, that's time a commitment in time India? wise to be coming in from India. Like I mentioned, yeah. I'm from Michigan. Uh Tyson's coming at you from Colorado near the uh SketchUp headquarters. All right, let's fix uh, those interior pieces like we mentioned. Let's grab uh, two of these. Uh, 
Um, while you do that, Sven, hi. Bardia, hello, from Iran. Good to see you. Steven from Norway, hello. Um, so, let's see. Bill asks, does Tyson import the image and then scale to actual or some other size? For example, 10 or 100 times and then scale back to real world. Um, I think it's just arbitrary at this point because you're just kind of eyeballing it, right? You're not trying to go for exact dimensions, but you are modeling larger than real world just uh, to avoid what we call the small face problem, right? Mm -hmm. Creating very, very small geometry um, sometimes can be a barrier, so model it larger, but you're not at any particular scale. At this point, no, I didn't even worry about it. Um, and it will be, if we model these all the same, it'll be easy to scale them all together, but you're right. I didn't worry about it because I knew we could fix it later. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure this will work for us, but this is another case of just to be safe. I'll keep this separately grouped while we spin it around. It is too big, so see, I guess I am glad I did that. Uh, Andy also had a question here about um, can you unexplode uh, image after you've exploded it? And I think the only way is to undo, right? You can't like Correct. make it an image container. Yeah. yeah. Or re-import, <clears throat> I guess. I think that is a one-way trip. Yeah. Yep. As best I know. If anybody else out there wants to say otherwise, please holler. I'm on your side. I believe you on this one. <laughs> um, Lawrence says, rich tea biscuits are nice with tea or digestives. Oh, yeah. Was that McVitie's? Is that a digestives? Those are tasty. I lived Ooh. in England for a couple of years, so I got a lot of experience. There you go. Tell us about Jammy it. Jammy Dodgers, things of this nature. Um, <laughs> uh, also, Andy asks about, and maybe you've done this, about modeling half the wrench since it's, uh, you know, mirrored top and bottom. Mm -hmm. As in why you, we did it? Is that why? Is that the... Are, are you doing it that way or is it... Uh, I am. So just one piece. Okay. Yep. I'm just modeling half. Nice. There you go, Andy. He's one step ahead of you. He's got the halves going. Yeah, we love that. Oh, yeah. And then he... I need to catch up on the chat. I'm, like, behind over here. So, sorry oh, for being behind, Andy. <laughs> you also had your first call out in the chat here. Lawrence says... Shame. Oh. But we're only 20 minutes in. That untitled up in the top, that's uh, dangerous. It spells danger. It sure does. Danger. Help! Watch out! I thought I had a danger <laughs> voice in here. I don't. So, let's explode this one. And I copied it straight down. I want them to be in line. Some of you will know that Projected textures is a good place to start with something like this. But I'm going to explode this so that it is a texture. And then for the wrench, let me just select this geometry. And I'm going to um, sample this image, even though I can't see it. And try painting it on here. We'll see. Uh, and it, it did work. So it's projected that typically if I right click on this, go to texture, it is projected. So that's working for us as a starting place. Now, some of this, we don't want that. So I'm going to come in and start tweaking. Nice. Yeah. And I feel like as with Whenever you mention materials or textures, it's good to know like what the end product is going to be. You know, like if it's part of just your small, if you're doing a scene of your entire garage, and then this is going to be small on a workbench somewhere, like in a final render, it's only going to be a couple pixels wide. So, like yeah. you know, this is probably good enough, or maybe even um, overkill for this. But uh, 
it's good to know the context in which your your uh, materials are going on. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I'm gonna cheat a little bit um, for the side stuff here. I'm gonna scale this up, kind of. But it's not gonna matter because this is just kind of a generally sort of rusty metallic texture, and. I want to take this, go to texture, and I don't want it as projected. So I'm taking the same texture, or the same piece, but I brought it up, turned it on its side, and then I want to turn off that projected so that I can take this and potentially sample it and use it down here for the sides, because the projected texture isn't working for our sides over here. So let me take this guy and just see how this is going to work for us. Paint that. Um, may need to tweak. Let's find out. It, actually, let, let's do one more thing. This texture still reflects the, all the tools. Let's narrow it down. Let's go and say um, what am I looking for? I might need to do this. I am looking for make unique texture. I think the sh it didn't like the shape before, but make unique texture. That I'm going to sample now and paste on here. And if I look at this and go to texture position, maybe I'll pull it down. Anyway, we're not we're not gonna get perfect, but um, you know, something like that starts to look better for our sides. We're gonna have to do some real interesting tweaking for this curve stuff. Let's see here. You know what? For that, we may want to project a texture. We may want to take something like this guy, put it here, and just project it. That would be the easiest way. Mm -hmm. um, we could take this texture if we go and look at our hidden geometry. This is one of the ways to work with curved surfaces in SketchUp materials. Again, the SketchUp UV mapping is not that great, but um, uh, let's. I want to sample this, paint it on this. And then I'm just going to paint my way across. Now, that that particular texture, I should probably uh, sample a different version that's a little moved. So let me do that. Um, or actually, let me just take this one, go to texture position, move this back down here so it's sort of the rusted area. Mm -hmm. Is this side of the wrench is that side? So then I will sample that and. Paint it. Uh, it does not. Does not want to do that. All right, I'll make it. I'll make it projected and then do it. See if that will work for us. Well done. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> No, it's looking good to me. Um, a lot of people in the chat, of course, talking about this is a spanner. This is not a wrench. Oh. Um, for all the UK folks over there. So uh, <laughs> just make sure you get your nomenclature right. Whenever you're referencing this oh. tool. Um, and then we have Daniel asking here, is there access to 2D templates in SketchUp Free? Um, I don't know if you're talking about like SketchUp templates. There are templates in SketchUp Free, um, the uh, you know SketchUp for web, um, and you also have access to 3D Warehouse too. That are obviously there's models and templates on there. Uh, I don't know exactly which templates you're referring to. If it's SketchUp templates or or other, but uh, yeah, there's certainly 
templates you can get in SketchUp for web. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and you can, mm, you can make your own. You can save files as templates, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, a template is just a SKP file. So whatever you, whatever you want. Some people have like, you know, they have a set project hierarchy. So all their tags are set up and scenes and stuff beforehand. Um, or you can just put your own scale figure in there if you want. Um, so a lot of different things you can do. Want to draw up a simple floor plan in 2D? Yeah, you can certainly do that. You can import images in SketchUp for web, right? Mm-hmm. So you could, yeah, import an uh, image of a floor plan and then trace over it, or you could, you know, type in the dimensions. Uh, yeah, certainly something you can do. Over at app.sketchup.com, of course. All right. That will do. Um... It's good to me. I'm sold on this spanner. <laughs> yeah, holler if there's questions on materials. I, I'm not. I'm not the best person for. I, I mean, this is kind of obvious, right? Aaron and I avoid materials like the plague, <laughs> typically <laughs> in these sessions. Um, but for this one, of course, materials is kind of kind of about one of the key pieces. So, if there's yeah. questions or suggestions. There are some really good tools out there that um, I did not go into the idea of exploring about mapping and, and there's some tools in the plugin world, but. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Usually material is not the most fun thing to show, but it's good to get him get him in there every once in a while. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna move past this as soon as I hide the edge. So this looks, that edge selected and hide it. All right, Matt, what should we do next? Ooh, what do you think, chat? Um, a lot of good options in here. Let's see. You guys tell me what to do next. I'll do the file because that'll be a really quick one. But then uh, let's see what what um, <clears throat> what comes up. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a poll thing set up, so just holler out um, what you're interested in seeing. Tyson model next for sure. And hope there's not too much of a language barrier on any of these other tools. <laughs> We're all talking the same language here. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I've got, normally I would adjust my image for something like this. In fact, mm -hmm. I'm going to. I'll do it and well it's not going to matter that much for because uh, my you know this uh, file is a little bit skewed and I, I usually would adjust it so that I'm aligned with the axis but in this case it's so simple we'll get away with it just by tweaking sounds good Let's see, we've got calipers, the right angle ruler, um, the adjustable square. Uh, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson did call it out before the stream of what people would want, and it's definitely the most complex ones is what he said. Yeah, of, of course it is. Those are, those are the more interesting ones. We get it. The ball peen hammer. Uh, monkey wrench. <coughs> oh, yeah. People calling out for a couple things, but yeah, the bottom right square. <laughs> um, I do. I, I brought this one in. This thing is so cool. 
if you've if you've seen these not only because it's a right angle but because it's any angle um, so you can it's adjustable and this one uh, is just a it, it, it's a nice old, nice old uh, square I've got the 45 angle on it um, I don't use this much I just it's a beautiful old piece so all right, we'll, yep. we'll come around to this guy. I think we'll do the hammer first, though. I want to... There's something I want to try on the hammer. But uh, keep keep shouting them out. If yeah, we'll make a list. Nice long list over here. <laughs> we have people fighting over it. Order in the court. <laughs> Please proceed. So we got some different sounds today. Nice, Matt. Definitely got different ones. Paul suggests you could make the adjustable square and the compass as kinetic sculptures, referencing back to a previous SketchUp live stream. Good. That was fun. I we that would be fun to do again, just to not the the idea of it but if any of you remember that one we just made a series of components and then by editing your component and moving one piece right you can move all the pieces and it was that was those are fun just to make yeah yeah that's sometimes it's nice to just do something more whimsical and uh you know fun where things are connected and stuff like that yeah it's yeah all right Because this one is so simple, I'm not going to bother keeping it as a component, separate components. And I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller in my image so that I can just map the texture on it pretty easily. So I'm going to select it. Uh, link to that session? Yes. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I just... <laughs> just in my own world over here. Throwing, uh, throwing texture on it. We're looking good. I'm not going to bother with the side. We... we um... This looks fine enough for this file. Easy one. All right, hammer, and then we'll come down here. Um, the hammer I wanted to do just to show how we might do this handle. Um, this is a method that probably many of you are familiar with, but just to show it, let's look at how, how we might do this. So I'm going to create a circle. It's a good start. Something like that. And because it's from the center, right, make it more of an oval. Um, now we're just going to take this, pull it out, use the scale tool, and scale from the center. You can even move it if we need to be to tweak it. Um, I, I'm curious. Again, uh, many of you will know this method where you just take something, you bring it out, you scale it. I'm going to be careful to scale. I could cut this circle in half. That actually would also be a good way to do it. And then I just do half, and then I mirror it but I'll just mm -hmm. do it as one. Um, I don't I there I don't know what like is the best name for this method where you scale, you move, you push pull, you scale, you move, you push pull. Um, I'm curious if anyone has has names Yeah, some they, kind of clever name. Yeah. Yeah, cuz I've heard of like just move and scale, but it's like that's not mm -hmm. really <laughs> That's really not as clever. Descriptive as it could be. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's got to have a lot more 
pizzazz or some pun or something. Yeah, exactly. Spice it up a little bit. So what's what's the thoughts out there? What's this method called? The referencing... No. Okay. That's already started off boring. Um, how about the... Pulley scaly. Pulley no. scaly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Within Pulley. the speaking of the word scaly, within the uh, SketchUp office at least, scale figures for a short time were referred to as scalies. <laughs> and I really liked it. Yeah. It reminded me of like scaly dry skin or something, you know. Ugh. <laughs> Yuck. Anyways. Uh, repetitive manipulation, says Keggy. Okay. That's... That is true. Descriptive. I like the, like, kind of, I don't know, follow along or, you know, uh, I don't know, growing. <laughs> it's tough. Stuff. I guess that's why they have like product people like hire you know agencies to name this kind of stuff. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I mean, it, it involves so many sort of little different things where it could be because it's push pull, it's move, scales the main thing, um, scaling about the center. Like, I... oh, here you go, Christopher Ryan, segmented scaling. Segmented scaling. I can get behind that. It's not bad. Segmented scaling. Okay, okay. That's a good one. Push, pull, and scale. Um, scump? Scump? That, <laughs> that, that's going to be... My name's Forrest Scump. People call me Forrest Scump. Um, <laughs> is, it, is it... I think it's SC for scale, and then U for... Hmm? And then M for move and P for push pull. Scump. <laughs> that, um, that's that's uh, what's uh, what's the sandbox tool? Uh, smooth. Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> We're just, just sort of a a, a made up <laughs> semi descriptive word. <laughs> yeah, it gets there. Although I feel like the the modeling technique is sort of, you know, pretty and uh, uh, I don't know, scumps just doesn't sound as it sounds like you're, you know, I don't know what it is. It sounds groggy or <laughs> grimy or something. You have to make up new words to describe what it sounds like. It's it's a grog mimey. It's it's I don't know. All right, so that's that's that method. I feel like segmented scaling is the lead for me right now. Push segmented scaling, scaling, people said. Push scaling is true. Um, sculpting. Ramesh coming in from India. Hello. 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 Um, Bill says scalies is a derogatory name for children of uh, military uh, members. members. Okay. Oh. People? Uh, Scaly brats. Derogatory in the, like, legitimately derogatory or endearing? Because, I mean, I like right. being Is called a geek, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah, so... I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Ooh, I, uh, for scump... And he says the U is for uniform. Ah, uh, yeah. Scale, uniform, move, push, pull. Scumping. <laughs> Maybe it'll catch on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paul points out that scumping sounds like an intern's job. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Something uh, not preferable if you have mm. the option not to. Yeah.
Raphael from Peru. Hey, good to see you again. Push pull lofting. Yeah, bringing it together, lofting it up. All true, all true. I, <clears throat> I just appreciate that there's not an easy front runner because I have never known like a good what do you what should you really call the thing? Yeah. I love it. I love this method. I, I use it frequently for various things, but I don't know what to refer to it as. Yeah. I feel like a, a skump is one of those things like you know it when you see it, you know. <laughs> I think I've been around long enough to know what's what. And I don't know <laughs> what a skump is. Mirror coming in from Tajikistan. Hello. Hi. Tajikistan. Welcome. The global SketchUp show today. Yeah. Thanks for joining us again after our hiatus. That's the easy part of the hammer. Now I gotta tie it to the Yeah. I mean, could you scump it? Could you scump it? <laughs> That's Bet. scumptious. I'm going to eat that right up. <laughs> Scale just... sculpturing. Transom says there's an art term called scumbling. So, uh, similar. And this is artistic, certainly. So, perhaps it could be in the same family. Scumbling. What's scumbling? Do you know? I, I mean, don't know, but I can. At, at, it sounds like when you're drawing and you're doing shading, there's like cross hatching and other techniques. It sounds to me like like a, a, a shading technique um, for like pencil work, but. Yeah, I think you're right. There's is, a couple uh, things on here. Modify a drawing with light shading and pencil or charcoal to give it a softer effect. Pretty much exactly what you described. So that's a good word when you don't know it exactly, but you can infer what it means from the name. Mm -hmm. So high praise for scumbling. Um, it also says in painting, applying a thin coat of paint to give it a softer effect. So yeah, sketching or painting. All right. Ooh. Ooh, uh can use this time to point out that, of course, you're here for the live uh, show here, so you like the live stuff. Next week, we have another episode of our podcast, Donuts, Design and Debate, uh, where we have the live audience vote to decide which side of the debate they agree with on a certain topic. Is it good design? Is it not good design? This topic we have this week, uh, pardon me, we have SketchUp's own Eric Sargent on to talk about Real-time rendering. I know renderings a lot. You know, materials and stuff is a big, uh, a big uh, touch point, a big um, contentious issue in the 3D modeling world. Rendering is as well. So, um, yeah, is 3D ren a uh, 3D? It, sorry, <laughs> oh boy, is 3D good? No, is uh, <laughs> is real-time rendering good design? You're gonna have to tune in to. Uh, our podcast to find out on uh, it's on Wednesday, same time as this of the day, noon Mountain Time. I'll drop the link in the chat. It's on Crowdcast. It's a different uh, different live streaming platform that has some more um, interactive elements. But uh, yeah, check it out. See you there, and uh, and you get to vote on the final the final say. Are, are you or is Aaron debating him? Uh, I believe it'll be Aaron. And and who's taking uh, which side? Ooh, we don't we don't uh, we don't disclose that until during the show, so I have to oh. tune in to find out. <laughs> okay, I mm -hmm. am curious. 
what you're gonna yeah what you're gonna try to uh, holler on that one. Hey, I'm just the moderator. I'm there to uh, make sure nobody gets too. Hey, hey, hey! Order in the court. <laughs> <laughs> Objection. I'll allow it. Um, so that's what I'm there to do, at least this time. Grab this link here. Let's see if I, I goofed up. When you're doing uh, scum, uh, what, what are we calling it? Scumping or sculpted scaling or... Um, um, what's the one? Segmented scaling? Ske segmented scaling. Like. You gotta Scumping, be, I feel like is... Yeah. <laughs> no, just you, you got to be careful when you're scaling from the center, especially if you're trying to keep something symmetrical and when you're not. And I goofed up something somewhere, so... Hey, no worries. It's kind of a oblong shape. Also, uh, Andy asked if we flip a coin for the uh, for the debates. If it's just me and Aaron doing it, then we flip a coin. But uh, whenever we have a guest on, we we let them. We're very gracious. We let them choose. Um, what they want to talk about, but also what side they're on to. So, yeah, if you have an idea for something you'd like to see debated, what's a controversial issue in the design world, let us know. Or you can email donuts at trimble.com uh, and let us know there too, but also drop it in the chat. Something we can clear up controversy. That's what we do on the show. So. <laughs> I am the ref. Yes, Sven, I'm the ref for this one. Um, and then the next next one we have, um, Aaron will be the moderator, the ref calling the shots. We need to get whistles too. Um, I'm willing to learn SketchUp for my business. I do drywall design on ceiling. Nice, that's awesome. Um, whole lot of learning content, one-off kind of here and there videos on YouTube for specific stuff. But if you really want to get the full comprehensive picture of SketchUp and learning it from the ground up, go to SketchUp Campus, which is learn.sketchup.com. I'm going to grab that link here. Um, Tyson and the aforementioned Eric uh, work on campus, get the campus training in place, and it is the most comprehensive, best SketchUp training out there. So uh, that's the place to learn SketchUp for sure. And there's the link. Yeah, go start off with the fundamentals. If you are using the web version, um, we have just, <coughs> excuse me, the, just the first chapter done on that, but you can look at the, if you're using the desktop, we have the desktop fundamentals done. And they're the same, we just haven't re-recorded them in the web format fully yet, and that's something that we're working on uh, updating, but otherwise, that says it's, it's the best. Go over there. Yeah, for sure. And we should mention all free as well. All There's free. a lot of different courses from beginner to intermediate to advanced stuff. And it uh, doesn't cost you a dime or a penny for that matter. So check it out. Yeah. All right. Uh, so did you, what's your thought, Matt? Was the consensus that we do this? Um, this uh, angle. I think that's edge. what it is. That's what got the most people talking. The most buzz about it was that one for sure. Okay. Okay. Let me see. It shouldn't be that difficult in the sense of like a couple concentric circles, fairly straight edges and arcs. 
some knobbies. Let's see what we get. I like it. Oh. Knobbies. And since we're about an hour in, I've got to, uh, I promised some anonymous person out there, I would switch it up between the mugs. <laughs> Uh, since, I, <laughs> since I usually get this one, I gotta, I gotta like little dip in. Oh God, he's playing with scale, folks. This is the real <laughs> scale tool. Yeah. Look at it. It's so, it's so precious. <laughs> that is tiny. Is that? Do you have any normal size mugs in your house, or is it only one or the other? Oh, who's to say what normal is, Matt? What is this normal you speak of? <laughs> Medium? <laughs> Anything in between Goldilocks, please. For God's sakes. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'll just go with no. Probably not. <laughs> Large okay. or small, you're going to get what you get and you're going to like it. Yeah. Get what you get. You don't get upset. <laughs> this actually is pretty straight, so we'll, we'll just leave our image alone here. That works. That's the steady hand of the camera operator. <laughs> you got it. Um, uh, can we go back to Crowdcast and watch the debates afterwards? It has not worked for me. Um, you should be able to watch all of them. Some... And they're all on YouTube, I should say, too. Uh, they're all on YouTube, so watch there. Or, they're all, of course, available on podcast apps if you have Apple Podcasts or Spotify or whatever. Um, it should be all up on Crowdcast, but uh, I will make a note to look at that and make sure that they're all watchable. The YouTube version is a little more... Uh, has more... It's more edited, like... The beginning of the show on crowdcast we kind of say hi to people and talk about the format and stuff like that so uh the more succinct version is on youtube for sure so. and also andy reminds you to save command a <laughs> there 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 it is. nice that's the one <laughs> that's thanks <laughs> Um, Bill's wondering if that's a spirit level in the center of the circular protractor. Uh, there is a level in the center of it. Nice. Good eye. Good eye. If it's called a spirit level, all the better. <laughs> This, uh, I, I'll, I'll tell a funny little story because I got this, um, I stole this from my dad. Uh, he wasn't using it, you know, but I did steal it, sort of. I told him <laughs> afterwards. A yeah, I know. But I, I just bring that up because I'm laughing. <clears throat> these these uh, pliers right here that are painted yellow. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a there's to me a funny story about that, and I, I'm guessing there's a few people out there who can relate. Um, we grew up in a small town, and there, you know we had some family, and it's a community. And my dad had a decent shop for just all sorts of stuff because we grew up on this kind of small farm. And so between family and friends, I, I'm not the only one who would steal his tools. People would just come <laughs> over, and if he wasn't around be like, well, I'm going to borrow this tool and I'll get it back. And I don't think anybody, right, nobody ever maliciously did not return a tool, but mm -hmm. there were a lot of tools that went missing and then just, I think, because people forget or whatever, sure. right? It's in the drawer, it's in the work shed somewhere, it's, you know, you forget about it. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so after a while, <laughs> my dad, in an attempt to make his tools known or make it easier to get them back he just took this bright yellow spray paint and he just would spray paint everything <laughs> with bright yellow spray paint so i don't know that's awesome 
I have no idea if like that actually ever got any tools back or if that just meant there's a bunch of bright yellow spray painted tools scattered through the community. Like who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you can at least tell it from far away away, you know? Oh yeah, totally. It's, uh, see it coming. I can imagine him going into like people's garages making excuses. Hey, let's uh, uh we got in there. let's check it out and then you're Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. See so you got six of my tools hanging up on your wall. Oh, what is this? Uh which brand is this one that's obnoxiously <laughs> painted? <laughs> I'll turn this up. Um, somebody's asking about the, well, first of all, okay. Hammer isn't made the same yet. Yeah, sure. And I mean, none of these are going to be exactly what they are in real life, of course, but, uh, you know, we're just going through a couple, a couple different ones here and, uh, turn off a couple different techniques. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the show. And then, uh, Chris Ryan asking if you know what make the angle gauge is. Yeah, it's a is it made by Green Greenfield Tappen? Sorry, go ahead. Oh wait, which one? No, the mm. one I've got is a Starrett. Starrett. Yeah. Cool. Um, which is another reason why I stole it because it's a it's a good one. It's a it's a well well made. Uh, um, it. It would cost me a decent amount to go buy one. So, yeah, I stole mm -hmm. it. <laughs> and it's not even painted yellow. <laughs> yeah, you removed all the yellow paint, so good for you. <laughs> paint stripper. Um, D said they're stealing the uh, yellow spray paint idea. <laughs> I say just cover the whole cover the whole workshop in yellow. And then you exa you know exactly, you know, you leave the hammer up on the wall, you spray paint over it. It's yellow and shows you exactly where to put it. Yeah, there you go. That's, oh, that's straight out of SpongeBob right there, buddy. <laughs> All right, ho, let's go. Yeah, that was a good idea, though. As I've been doing work, uh, I've been not doing work on my house, but I, uh, you know, had to get some more tools for my house. I'm definitely like, oh, wow, I'm lacking in a lot of tools. Borrowed the tools from the neighbor there, and uh, I gave it back. So uh. I don't need to steal. I'm a responsible, you know, neighborhood citizen. That's good, yeah. Turn. Yeah. Starrets ain't cheap. That's what they say in the chat. They're not. Well, when you get the opportunity, walk away with it. My favorite book is Gary Paulson's The Hatchet. What? <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe they're, you're talking about tools and somebody was talking about hatchets, perhaps? I'm not really sure, but... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I didn't There's probably... a book called The Hatchet. Nice. So... Let me see. One yeah. of the many sounds we have here on SketchUp Live, of course. <laughs> Let's see if we can cut this in half. I 
I need to lock this down again. And lock it up. You, you just get out of the way over here. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, let me have a look-see here. Close and personal. Mm-hmm. Some real good details. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping. Tiny sips. Tiny sips. I salute you, everybody. Have a good weekend. All right. Let's see. Um. <laughs> yeah. Has anybody got good plans for the weekend? We don't. Have anything going uh, here? How about you, Matt? You got any videos you're working on, or? Um, I am. Well, the thing I'm most uh, looking forward to after work is uh, Severance on Apple TV Plus. I don't know if you're familiar with this television oh, series. I haven't started it. But the finale is out today, and I'm very excited to watch. I was trying to afford some time. Hey, can I take some time away from work this morning and uh, take a peek at it? I've been looking forward to it. So that for sure. But then also tomorrow morning, I'm headed out to the great state of Colorado. Can't Somebody wait to see you. Boarding a flight. And yeah, it'll be good to see you in person as well. Other members of the SketchUp team and the entire Trimble community. Uh, we thank them as we do each and every week here on SketchUp Live. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to being there next week so yeah taking All flight right. <laughs> Paul's making a ship making a ship that's, that's impressive say what you need to give us more than that what do you mean <laughs> yeah are you making it by yourself <laughs> ship? I mean is <laughs> it a ship or is it both I'm just making making a ship as you yeah, do I'm making a 128 foot uh, schooner You know, That's pretty awesome, though. making a ship. That is awesome. Oh, I'm going to weld that edge so I don't get those segments. Ooh, I'm excited to see what your shortcut for weld is. <laughs> so, let me get rid of those. What is it? I think it's Shift W. Let's find out. Yep, Shift W. Shift W. Nice. Should have welded it before I brought that up. All right. Ooh, Brad's got one of the new MacBook Pro M1 Max. So he's setting it up this weekend. Ooh. Exciting. Take that thing for a spin. Mm -hmm. That does. That sounds fun. <coughs> Ooh, Transom has got a gazebo kit. 500 fasteners. Ooh. A That's a lot. I'm trying to oh man <laughs> wrapping my head around what a gazebo kit is I mean I assume it's it... gonna build a gazebo from a kit so I guess it's all pre-cut and pre got all the all the stuff for you to put it together probably oh oops I merged that I do not want to do that Let's try again. Andy's got the same uh, weld shortcut as you. Shift dubs. Shift W. That's that's because we roll in style. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. Um, Paul says the ship is 120 centimeters long. 
for the cats to play with in the garden. Well, color me impressed. That sounds that sounds interesting. Yeah, any kind of shipbuilding is uh, sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the next topic for the next donut show. Obviously, you didn't hear my fantastic plug earlier, but uh, next Wednesday we're talking about real time rendering. Um, so that'll be the topic. And then the week after that, everybody's favorite blockchain technology, NFTs. Ooh. Um, so that'll be on the 27th <laughs> of April. You're going to weigh into the NFT world, eh? That's right. Yep. That is non controversial. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have an entrepreneur on. He's got um, some of his technology is sort of adjacent to NFTs. But uh, yeah, so it'll be be interesting conversation. And Definitely. yeah, we'll get it. I know everyone's the question everyone's been asking, are NFTs good design? And we will put an end to that debate without question. Oh, you. Oh, that's that's sweet. Good. Uh... And it can stop seeing it on social media. Buy <laughs> my NFTs. Um, Andy's thinking about watching the uh, F1 Grand Prix. Although he's in Australia, or uh, it's in Australia, and he's on in the UK, so it's at 6 a.m. Ooh. Oh. It's er early call time. Although... That. And forgive me, but I'm, I, are you familiar with the Grand Prix, uh, Matt? Not, if, not particularly. If it's anything like NASCAR, then it's going to go for like 27 hours. <laughs> so if you miss the first few. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> like, the most important part happens at the finish line, not the starting line. You can come in and be okay. Mm -hmm. I'd probably just offended everybody south of the Mason-Dixon line. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, that's a good point, though. I mean, I have friends that, that are that way with basketball. It's like, it's probably going to be a close game until the last five minutes anyways, so who cares, you know? I'm like, hey, sometimes it's nice to watch. Now, remind me, Matt, because um, which Michigan... Are you? Ah, uh, yes, of course. The in-state rivalry, or one of the main in-state rivalries for Michigan, uh, for sports, is Michigan State versus University of Michigan. I went to Michigan State, Michigan State University, MSU. So, uh, Spartan, go green over here. But, um, yeah, only made it to the second round of the tournament this year. The NCAA March Madness. Lost to Duke. We're in turn oh. lost to North Carolina, the Final Four, of course. But uh, I didn't really pay too close attention. I'm not uh, not too crazy in the sports, but definitely root for the Spartans when they're on. Nice. <laughs> well, I Bill, very <clears throat> very adamant in the chat. <laughs> Formula One is nothing like NASCAR. <laughs> oh, good. So. We've 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 stoked the fires, <laughs> and it's only two hours, less than two hours. Okay, uh, okay, long total. So. Well, apologies for us non-race, for us race ignorant. Uh, <laughs> or the best way to finish that is. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd consider myself amongst that uh, uh, that group, that community. Um. Lenny's going to be splitting wood if the snow melts, uh, if I recall correctly, up in Wisconsin. So sorry to hear you got snow, but I uh, hope it, hope it uh, melts, dries up pretty quick. Christopher here building five windows over the weekend. Only five. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, it seems low. You're building <laughs> windows. Again, that's impressive. A lot of, uh, a lot of really impressively <laughs> talent out there in the community. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, one of the most proud things I am to be uh, part of the SketchUp community is everybody out there, all the crazy cool things everybody does. And if you're interested in the SketchUp community, segue to, you gotta come to 3D Base Camp in Vancouver. Are you kidding me? Uh -huh. 3D Base Camp is SketchUp's user conference that happens every two years. And there's a whole bunch of not only, of course, great SketchUp learning and training and stuff, but you also get to meet and greet with the best of the best, the SketchUp aficionados, um, and meet a lot of you know really cool people doing really cool stuff. Uh, but it is the, as one uh, person from the last event put it, the SketchUp World Cup. So everybody from all over comes, and it's uh, it's a great time. So uh, Vancouver, September 26th to the 30th is are the dates of the full event. Um, I will grab a link to the website. But, um, yeah, it's the, the place to be for your SketchUp lover. So. Mm -hmm. And from what I hear, it is also nothing like NASCAR. So, you know. Hey, I know I'm part of the planning of this event, and we're every single day. We're like, how can we make this more like NASCAR? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we need more fans. We need, you know, uh, loud engines, and we need what's it called in the inside? There's something to, like in oh, yeah, the infield. <laughs> I know that's like a big party zone in NASCAR usually. Yeah. But you're Anyways, right. we're getting one of those, either. whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> we will have one of those, mark my words, at 3D Base Camp. All right, there's more, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> there's more detail to this, but we may just leave it at that and let it be sort of a good representational version Yeah, that looks good to me. And if it looks good to Matt, everybody, I that's what I go with. That's my gold standard. I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm definitely the, you know, impartial party over here. I'm the ombudsman. <laughs> I... Say if it goes or not. So, uh, you know, great powers, great responsibility, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, have you guys seen the Hoonicorn Mustang on YouTube? I have not. But no. I did look up a photograph of it, and it looks pretty freaking sweet. Um, I don't know what to say besides that, but it looks uh, crazy. No, what, what what is it? Um, looks like it has a lot of horse powers, and uh, I don't know. I don't really know a lot about cars. It looks, <laughs> um, I don't know. It just looks cool. <laughs> Got a bunch of stuff sticking out the hood. Um, let's see. I don't know. This is as good of an explanation as I can do. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh man, <laughs> well we could we could call it. Or we could do more if there's if uh if anybody wants to hang out for a bit longer and, and we can throw a Another tool in the mix. What's the, yeah for what's sure? The what, do you guys, out there? what are you guys interested in? You want to see one of the other tools? You want to get on with your weekend? 
or yeah, questions so. if there's anything uh, worth exploring do holler yeah totally Andy does have kind of a comment about some of these components you should make unique uh, because some of them are not non-symmetrical um, I exactly know which one he's talking about but well <clears throat> he could be talking about for example um, and I did not copy over I made these pieces outside of this oh I uh, thought I made a copy but no that that's true um, There's some non-symmetricality in, in the way that these, and I mirrored that, but then I didn't mirror it as a component, and there's stuff on the, the back, which I'm just not gonna bother with right now. The, the two sides are not identical. Mm -hmm. So, very very true. Um, the, the way that this, this alone, again, I think I can fix this because I didn't make it a component, but uh, whereas one side and then the other side sits flat against the ruler. So, yes, good point. Got it. Very good point. Very true. Got it. Um, let's see. You had a request for the dividers on the top right. Oh, or the next thing to, uh, to model? We could do that. We could end on those. I remember exactly what they look like. They look like these. Oh, very good. Nice. I assume. Um, what else we got here? Um, can you speak a little louder, please? What? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's old. Having to do with old? <laughs> so. uh, I've got to... I, I, let's do these because I have a... I want to see if... I, if, if, if uh, these should be fairly straightforward. Do a little um, solid model modeling or subtractive modeling to make these work. Oh. Good idea. So. Yeah, this will be a good one to end on. So yeah, we'll do this one and we'll we'll call it. You got a pretty good set going now. Yeah, that's all right. You can definitely build some stuff up out of these. Do some measuring, some filing, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> other things and other things that you do with tools yeah. I know a lot about tools of course I'm a very tool oriented guy so. yeah you are <laughs> that's why we no, know not. the difference between a spanner and a wrench and a wrench spanner wrench <laughs> that's right they're all different <laughs> we're, all, we're familiar with all of them <laughs> so for this one I was thinking let's see if we take this uh, I want to make these square so I didn't use measurements let's just copy us up that line so that these are square Then, so let's see if we can get the, that transition from uh, square to round by creating a cone. Got a question here. Are the dividers made by Phoenix? 
I don't know. These have a lot of patina on them, and I can't tell any markings. Uh, I cannot find any markings on this. So, it's just too dang old. They are. They are beautifully old. <laughs> but yeah, just little, little thumb screw. I don't know. These these are nice little old ones. It's an interesting question. It's so fun to identify old tools, and uh, but I don't know in that case. Mm-hmm. Nice T track says Transom. So I love my T track. That yeah, that's this thing running down the middle of my workbench. I don't actually use it that often, but for holding jigs on my. My workbench, my workbench, since we spoke about basketball flooring, is an old basketball floor. That's that maple. Oh, that's cool. I just, you can find places that'll sell old slabs of, they just, when they remove a, a flooring like that, sometimes they'll just rip it into big slabs of two foot or four foot wide by however long. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I never heard of that before. So yeah, it works. Works out pretty all right. Okay, so let's see if this will uh, this will do what we want it to do. I better. I could use the solid tools to do these, or I could use. Intersect with model. I will use the solid tools, which means I better get rid of these line, these uh, so my object is solid. But I want those for later. Okay, so I don't know about anybody else. <coughs> Excuse me. Solid tools. Where are they in all my extensions here? Where, do, um, where are my solid tools? Is it tools? Solid tools? Um, you know what? Did I? Instead of tool palettes? Or is it? Oh, maybe. Uh, we could do it that way too. I just always forget. <laughs> I always forget the, the sequence. Down. And um, um, solid tools is right here at the top. Oh. I never remember the the order of operations. Is what um, it is is well, the part Well, it doesn't help that like... the <laughs> yeah, all the things look the same. So oh, I'm always oops. like, uh, which one is which? I have to like hover over there. Uh huh. Aaron's good at it. Aaron can like tell what which one is going to do what, but I'm like. Um... All right, one of these. Ah, okay. Hold on, hold on, while we fix a little bit. Um, what's going on? We are. All right. One, two, two. Nope, wrong. Oh, um, good. <laughs> oh. I. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh, you know. Okay. Is it going to do what you're. No, it's not. And I'm sure that everybody. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, the, you must be screaming and be like, why do you think that will work? It's not going to work. No, it's not. I need this to be the app. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. I get it. It's bullying, you know? It's tough. I am not going to use the solid tools. <laughs> Forget it. I guess Forget you could. It. I you could. could use solid tools on like a 
yeah, a big block, take that cone out of it, and then use that as the cutter for the, or something. Yes, if I had made my cone like, steps. like this, so it was, that was the, I could make it work. Um, there's no need to draw that out more. Um, I'm just going to. I think this, I'm going to do this. I like to intersect stuff twice. Let's, I'm going to group this so that I can isolate my view on it. But yeah, that's what I, we got there. I did it. We, Sometimes we got you just got to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I, I do it too, so does Aaron. I know everybody out there, sometimes you're in the middle of something and you're, you've got to be like, ah, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. And you can see it from the outside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> awesome. There we go. That's what we wanted. And just for... What's your field of view? It looks like it's like super wide. It is. Um, I like 50. The default in SketchUp is 35. I, mm -hmm. I, I My default templates are either 45 or 50. I like a wider field of view. Um, that's just a personal preference. Cool. Yeah, I can't really tell from like further away, but once you get closer in, it's like, boom. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. That should, uh, if that is a component, then we should be good. Okay. Here. Okay. I'm ready to take all the world. <laughs> Booyah. Looking good. <laughs> I'm still going to laugh about that. I <coughs> it, It's one of those things, Matt, if, uh, if you'd been like toying with me, Jody, maybe be like, oh no, no, I think you're I think you're just using the wrong one and like just keep me just just have me go through every <laughs> solid tool picking on different things. It will never work, but so just many like <laughs> Oh my just god, there's so many permutations out. of okay, select this first and then hit that tool and then do this one and then it's like, oh boy. We oh, have boy. you going all day. <laughs> that is also not gonna be a fun work. call and response from the chat. Oh, Colin always has a fun were, response. <laughs> yeah, uh, there were some suggestions of different uh, different solid tools to use, but you got it done with intersect. So yeah, my shape selection was poor. He chose poorly. Hey, you got it. So <laughs> you got it right. We get there eventually. What's done is done. <laughs> and it's done. Do you have a do you have a sound bite that is not safe, but it's something more like fail? <laughs> um <laughs> uh, I don't really know. I don't have any too too many bet here we go. <laughs> a couple of them. I'm sure I got something in here. Um, oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Close. Okay. Okay. That's the last time I just click around in here. <laughs> okay, 
I'm sorry, everybody. I was not ready for that one. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. None of that. That's good. This place is ridiculous. I don't know how that got on the soundboard. I didn't. How did that uh, get in there? I certainly didn't put that on there. <laughs> so where are we at with these uh this tool here <laughs> <laughs> i know quick bail out bail out <laughs> thanks everybody uh matt and i are gonna be in suspended for a while <laughs> No, it's all for fun. It's all for fun. Fun, 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 fun yay! <laughs> oh, wow. Good fun. <laughs> um, so, so, I... People yeah. are calling these, uh, what, dividers? Mm hmm Is that because it just... You can divide a span evenly or something. I've never, I've never heard of these referred to as dividers before. Um, yes. So, it, if you uh, a couple things, right? You can obviously use them for something like a compass or a protractor, where you can draw circles. But if you, mm -hmm. they're dividers in that, like if you have a board and you want to divide it up easily, you go piece, and then to piece to piece so then you can mark and divide equal segments along the way gotcha. i think that's what that correct me i think that's what the, the reference is cool yeah i buy it you can use it for that yeah um i don't do hand cut dovetails i've i've built some stuff with dovetails before but i have this convoluted um table saw jig that i use but if you do hand cut dovetails, you'll do spacing, divide them up. That's just one specific use. There's other others out there. I don't like sharp corners. Gotta knock that off. We gotta round those things down. Yeah. Anyway. It's dangerous. Poke yeah. an eye out. Exactly. I mean, this side down here, totally fine. But that corner, that's sharp. <laughs> Yeah, that'll get you. Every time. A <laughs> uh, pair of compasses as well here. Pair of compasses? It's not just a compass? That's what I thought, too. Just a, It's a compass. But, uh... Huh. I mean, it kind of looks like scissors, right? To... Yeah. Say a pair of scissors. Always a pair learned. of pants, count. Could be pair pants. Of pants. Per usual live stream, I'm not wearing pants, but you guys don't know that, so. Yep. I, I'm wearing shorts. Uh, <laughs> uh, got me on a technicality. Oh, Te gosh. I'm not wearing shoes. Since we're all okay. sharing here. <laughs> I'm not wearing shoes. I'm wearing slippers. You know, <laughs> I think, Matt. I think it's a given when we get to this point. It's like, you guys should, we should be done. We should be done. We're talking about what we're wearing. <laughs> what we're wearing. <laughs> what are you wearing? Oh, what, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> exactly. Like, okay. Well. All right. Be done. You know, the weekend's near. So. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Yes, very good, Michael. You can use it for circles and equal segments. Nice. So a lot of uses out of this tool. One of the tools I don't have in my toolbox, among probably a large number of other tools. I think probably out of the tools that you have in that photo, I maybe have three. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know. I have to look at the picture again. 
I have like screwdrivers and hammers and then tape measure. Well, and, um, how technical does everybody want to get, right? Because then you're like, well, it's a ball peen hammer. Well, it's a, you, you know, do, you have, do we want to, do we want to? Oh. oh, I've got a hammer. I do not have a ball peen hammer. I don't have a set of compasses. I don't have a protractor, or not a protractor. I don't have a, uh, a scissors. What is it called? <laughs> Dividers. Um, oh, a divider. Yeah, I don't have those. Well, you know what? You know, of these tools, I I already mentioned like how often they get used. I mean, I only use these when I'm killing people playing Clue, right? <laughs> It does look, <laughs> these are, it does these look are exactly the, like the Clue one. These are so Clue. I love them. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I only use those for that. Is that what they're for? Uh, when you're in your billiards room? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was Tyson in the live stream with the dividers. <laughs> We are uh, so off funny. the rails. We should call it. <laughs> hey, that's the best part. <laughs> um, Bill did uh, suggest uh, for hand dovetails watching Rob Cosman, Matt Eastley, or Paul Sellers. Um, I'm going to will... have to take your word for it. It sounds like you are familiar with at least some of those names. I will wholeheartedly endorse any of those. Those are all great. I'll tell you what, though. I This is... I mean, we're already off the rails, so why not? Hand-cut dovetails is one of those things that... I, 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 I rarely build furniture that requires dovetails, and I don't want to take the time to get good at hand-cut dovetails. It's an art into itself. It's just one of those choices. Like... Yeah, mm. you make the compromise. You're just not going to go down that path because it's too, uh, too rocky or just too long of a road. I mean, you, you can get really good at it and really fast. And, and like you say, the, all the people you mentioned, um, Paul Sellers, um, Rob Costman, Matt Eslia is a younger guy. It's like you, Matt, but he's got crazy awesome big hair. Oh, you nice. do too, but uh, he's on another level. <laughs> right. Something to aspire you, to. That's what you want to take away from a woodworking video, right? Who's got the best hair? <laughs> that's what I take hey, it's away. Some kind of hair competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Kagi agrees with you that uh, the jig is the easier way to go. I sometimes yeah like you know what though and again this is just totally random I have a really interesting dovetail jig that I made myself for a table saw that I think um, it is a it is a different type of beast it doesn't require dividers to figure it out anyway <laughs> nice bringing it all back home bringing all right all back let's, around. let's let's land this way random plane <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Sounds good. oh mateo hey hey mateo coming in at the end but uh hey the recording will be on youtube um thanks for tuning in um yeah let's see we did have a call in the chat we need some more geeks woodshop that's your uh, your personal channel on YouTube here. So uh, people are interested in Tyson's tools, Tyson's techniques. Head on over to Geek's Woodshop and uh, get more of that. But it doesn't have any of the fun of having Matt here to, you know, bring, bring the mad sound effects. And uh, we've got the sounds. We've got the number one. Believe me, this man is a menace. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I got a question. Can you share the jig on Geek's Woodshop channel? Yes. It's one of those things that... Matt, you're a video editor. I've got about a dozen projects that are done and not finished. You, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got lots of spare time. <laughs> to, to, to. Uh, we can find somebody, find somebody on the team who can help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe somebody in the chat can volunteer. There we go. If you want more Geeks Woodshop uh, content, you're gonna have to create it or help create it. A lot of good questions here. Uh, dovetail or box joints? Oh. Throw them down. And then, <clears throat> well, I mean, for visibility <laughs> or for strength? Or for just practicality? Who knows? I don't know. It's all, it's all words to me. I don't know. Um, and then he had a question here. Do you pair your dovetails or use a coping saw? I use a flat tooth saw blade. Flat tooth uh, saw blade. That's awesome. <coughs> yeah. No, I. Who out there? I, I'm curious if anyone wants to throw, like, I, if if some of you do hand cut dovetails, super respect. Um. Trying to set these down. Just creating a little uh, final composition of our tools here. Oops. Nice. Laying them down. Laying it down on the big scale. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you got to scale them to proper scale, too. No, I don't. <laughs> you can't make me. You can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't have it, to. Hey, it's your model. <clears throat> if there's a question of how to do it, I'll, I'll gladly show how we could easily do it. Um, it's a um, fairly simple technique. So if there's somebody out there who, who really has that question, put it up and we'll show how to do it. But I, I know that a number of people will know how to do it, so... Just let me know. Uh, happy to uh, to show it. Now let's see. What are we going to put this last one? You did all you could. Whoa, that's probably pretty loud. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, it said you did all you could. So yeah, you don't you don't have to scale them unless there's a specific request. I did. Somebody mentioned earlier that that long part of the piece that you're selected on now is probably a foot. Right, by 12 inches? Exactly. We could scale it from this. It would be super easy. All right, oh. I I've got those. Um, I have copied most of them from over here, so um, I'll show it just to do it anyway. You just take something that we know that that is scaled. So yeah, this will be 12 inches, and we can do this inside a group. So I'm gonna grab this, group it, and then if I scale anything inside that group, it'll affect just the group. If I scale it from the outside, it will affect the entire model. But um, let's do just the group. And I will use the tape measure tool and measure a known distance from here to here, which I'm seeing as 13 feet and some change. Once I click that, I'm going to say 12 inches. Resize. Oh, well, see, it resized my whole model. It should have just done it inside the group. Maybe I wasn't editing the group. I may have done it on the outside, that's probably what happened. But if we measure this now, that's 12 inches and everything else scaled appropriately. So 
easy to do after the fact. That's why we didn't worry about it. Nice. Perfect. You got them at the right size. Okay, and let's throw a little, little render on here. Got my sketch effects. Which I, uh, let's pick, um, let's just try this one. See what happens. It may have some background. But anyway, that's, thanks everybody for hanging out. Thanks for, um, Nice work. Yeah, that's nice work. awesome. <laughs> Thanks for giving us a, a couple weeks off to recover. Aaron will be in here next week. I heard a rumor. I don't hold him to this. I heard a rumor. If uh, some of you know that we have a beta version of uh, SketchUp on the iPad, you might try to show that. Um, but don't hold him to it because that could change but um, otherwise I'm not sure what he's got in store for next week but you know Aaron he's always got something fun yeah stick around join on Friday and then of course uh, join on Wednesday for the podcast uh, as well if you're interested uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good looking render for um, getting the sketch effects going there yeah, that looks all right. I like the, the feel, the look and feel. So, old. That was fun. Just kind of play around. Um, yeah. Otherwise, thanks, Matt. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Uh, here's for rooting for whichever Grand Prix car team. <laughs> <laughs> yes let's go formula one i hope all the drivers have fun it's a dog sled race right <laughs> not kidding all right thanks everybody I hope. let's go okay bye